principle. First of all, you have to understand about the ball run by the electric field. So, what is the ball run by the electric field? That is negative line integral of electric force. Negative line integral of electric force to move a given charge from a point to another point. Okay? So, this statement can be represented mathematically as ball run is equal to negative line integral okay, of electric force here from a point A to point B. Okay? So, in Elamas problem you have studied about the ball term that is ball term is equal to force dot dot with displacement term. But that equation was actually used when the force is constant over the path. But <coughs> if the force is variable, then we have to use our second equation of the ball term that is integration of f dot with dr. Okay? So here the here actually the force is variable. Hence we are using equation integration from A to B f dot dr. But you can see there are negative sign is present. So this negative sign represents the bulk term against the electric field. Okay? Now, as you can see that here, position vector of point A is R vector and position vector of point B is R vector. Now we are now we have to move this charge small q from point A to point B. And as you can see in this figure, we have selected multiple paths 1, 2, and 3. Okay? So we can move this charge Q from point A to point B and in any possible pass which are present. As you can see that in this equation F external is used. This F is the force acting on the charge small Q by capital Q and this F external is small Q charge that means value of charge into with electric field at that place that is force. This equation was in chapter number 1. Okay? And direction of this force is in the direction from charge capital Q to charge small, small Q. That means we can say that this direction is in, is in position vector of this charge. Clear? Yeah? Okay. Because of this external force, charge Q moves away with the some acceleration. As you have seen in the mechanical system, if a force acts on a body, that body moves with some acceleration. A force there which is acting on small q charge. That's why this small q charge will move with some acceleration. And to overcome this accelerated motion, we have to apply an equal and opposite force against to the force applied by the electric field. That means force acting on this charge is in outward direction. Then we have to apply the force is in inward direction. To overcome the acceleration, that means this charge will move with Uniform velocity. Clear? Yeah. Let us simplify this equation of the ball term. That is, W is equal to negative integration from A to B, F external dot with dr. As we have discussed, F external is equal to value of the charge into with the electric field at the place. As you can see here, value of charge placed at this place is Q and the electric field is E in the radially outward direction. That means the value of force is. Now we can substitute this term at the place of F external. Okay? So F external is substituted. That is Q into E. Okay? Now, here charge, value of charge is scalar quantity. So we can take it out from this integration. So Q is outside and remaining term is as it is. Now, this is the important condition. As you can see in this figure, Distance of point A from the origin and distance of point C from the origin both are almost equal. That's why we can say that electric field at point A and electric field at point C magnitude of the electric field at these two places both are same. But the magnitude of electric field at point B or at different locations will be different. Okay? So throughout this path, the value of electric field is uniform. Okay? So we have selected the third path in this way that electric 
electric remains constant over the path as well as electric field varies over other path. Clear? But in these two paths, we cannot calculate in the easy way. So we have selected this third path. The behavior of electric field from A to C and from C to B both are different. Okay? Behavior of electric field is different. That's why we have to separate the integral from A to B. Here the integration is from A to B. We have separated it from A to C and then C to B. Okay? So now let us see here. Negative Q is as it is. E dot dr is in integration from A to B. So now we have done integration of E dot dr but from A to C and separate it from C to B. Okay? So now in the path A to C we can say that direction of F and direction of dr both are perpendicular to each other. That means angle between E and dr is 90 degree. Clear? Now in the path C to B the direction of force and direction of dr vector both are in same direction. That means the angle between E and dr is 0 degree. Clear? Or any problem? Okay, next. Now, as we know, cos 90 is 0. Let us substitute it. And cos 0 is 1. Clear? 0 into with any value is 0. Okay? 1 into with E dr, that means as it is E dr. 0 with any term, that means that term is remaining. So, integration from C to B, E dot dr. Okay? Now, we have the equation negative Q. Integration from C to B, E into dr. Now, from point C to B, you can notice that the electric field is in radially outward direction. And in the radially outward direction, the behavior of electric field is proportional to 1 by R square as well as proportional to charge producing heat. That means, uh, you have studied this equation of electric field in chapter number 1 that was E is equal to KP by R square. So, we can substitute the equation of electric field. So now, E is equal to KQ by R square into a dr. Here K is 1 by 4 by epsilon naught, which is a constant because here the medium is air medium. Okay? Or we can take it as vacuum tube. So K is constant, capital charge Q is constant, only the variable term is R. Here K and Q are constants, so we can take it outside from the integration. So the remaining term will be here. 1 by R square dr in the integration. Next term, now we can replace these points with its distances from the origin. And distance of point C from the origin is RC, distance of point B from the origin is RB. So let us replace these points with its distances. Okay? So RC at the point of C, we have replaced it by RC and point B by RB. Now 1 by R square can be written as R is to power minus 2 dr. And as you remember, the equation of integration for x raised to n dx that is x raised to n plus 1 divided by n plus 1. Okay? So you have to remember this equation of integration. So let me apply at this place r raised to power minus 2. So take it this term as n. Okay? And r as x. So its equation is variable raised to number plus 1 divided by number plus 1 apply it here so r is to power number plus 1 denominator in denominator minus 2 plus 1 that is number plus 1 so it will be minus 1 ok and r is to power it will be again minus 1 this minus minus will be cancelled out ok and now r is to power minus 1 we can write it as 1 by r over the, it, its limit is from RC to RB, okay? where RC is the lower limit and RB is the higher limit of the integration. Next time, so replace R with RB, replace R with higher limit RB. So this, this will be 1 by RB, then negative, take negative sign and then substitute the lower limit at the place of R, it will be 1 by RC. So as by the figure, we can see that distance of point A from the origin and distance of point C from the origin 
both are same. So we can replace RC with R. Okay? So replace RC with R. So this is the one final equation of the work done. And you can notice that here the work done work done to move a charge Q from A to B is only depends upon the positions, the positions of the initial point and the final point. Clear? And it is also depending upon the value of two charges. It doesn't depend upon the path we have selected. That means we can move it over first path or second path or third path. The work done remains constant. It is only depending upon the state of the point selected. It doesn't depend upon the path we have selected. Okay? Thank you for watching and like and subscribe for our channel.